outside the National Museum of Jewish History. And um, I've never really paid attention to this before. I'm not sure I've ever seen it before. So this is Oi on one side, and the other side it's Yo. Israelites of America. They used to have a big sign there which uh, reproduced a letter from George Washington saying that bigotry would not be approved in the United States. I, they've taken that down. Now it just says, welcome everybody, we're open and free. Maybe there were too many who supported, uh, it doesn't matter. But I think it's a shame that it was taken down because it was a lovely sign. And right next to that is the Bourse, which was a gorgeous building where they had restaurants on the second floor. <laughs> and you could look down, now all the restaurants are down as you go in and it just isn't nearly as nice. It's still okay, but it was gorgeous. I remember having lunch there once with uh, Lothar on the second floor, looking down and Lothar thinking, my God, I didn't know Philadelphia had anything beautiful. I thought all beautiful stuff was in Germany. You know, everything the British didn't bomb. <laughs> that was that too. So here we are in Independence Mall, which is the best place to be on the 4th of July, because this is where it all started. That's one of the buildings next to Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th, 1776. So we're coming up to the 250th anniversary, which is pretty amazing. So, I will have been here, I will have been living in the United States for one-fifth of its history, which uh, is an astonishing thought. That's the visitor center, and across behind that, usually when you have parades, you have all the dignitaries up where people are hanging over the railing. But that's the Constitution Center there, which is bipartisan and really terrific. It's the whole history of the Constitution. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. That should be tattooed on everyone. And right behind is Independence Hall. Oh, and this building here houses the Liberty Bell. I have a number of videos from this area for various parades. The last one was in November when I videoed Sergeant Benjamin Berry, who will be 100 this year, and he was a veteran of the Battle of the Bulge in France in 1944 when he was a teenager. Of 
is there. <laughs> it's going to be 100 in September. So this is where all men were created equal, but they narrowly defined who was a man. Since then, Christmas 